All right. I have a file in Illustrator and I'm going to, I have already imported it into InDesign, but I'm going to show you that this is a two color job. If I click here, I see it's Pantone C201C. And I click here, and this is Pantone 205. Um, so I have all my colors correct. I have coded colors. So it's a two color job. So therefore, I need to make sure I've imported this already. And if it looks fuzzy to you, especially in EPS, which this one really looks fuzzy, but if it does look fuzzy, it's easy to switch. You just go to View, Display Performance, and go to High Quality, and now it's absolutely perfect. But it also takes a lot longer for your computer to generate this, and it takes more energy. So if we kind of have an idea of where it is, we just look at it fuzzy and don't worry about it. I want this to print as a two-color job. So I need to make a new PDF preset. I'm going to go to Adobe PDF Presets and Define. And I'm going to do another press quality because again I just needed it at 300 dpi so new. And here I'm going to again type in my name with 300 um, color as is. That means it is not going. It could be a three color job, it could be a four color that's not CMYK job, it could be a six color job, it's going to keep all of those in. We're going to go ahead and do compression. That should be what it is. Here, I don't have anything. And I go to output. And instead of convert to destination, I go ahead and do no color conversion. And then their destination is not applicable. This is good if you have a three color job, a six color job, a four color job that's not CMYK, um, any a one color job, anything like this. This is the one you want to do. Advanced, again, leaves, this, leaves it the same. Make sure your title is in there and hit OK. And then there it is, and we hit Done. Now I can make a PDF. I'm going to go down here to Color As Is, and there it is. Now when I actually look at this, it's perfect. 